Okay, so I have made my own little uh, game in the Berry Engine. Uh, oh yeah, and ab about that, uh, in this uh, Berry Engine file, my game engine that I previously uploaded, uh, I think it was last month, um, I found quite a big bug in it. Well, it's not a big bug, but it'll certainly affect how things are drawn and collided with on the screen. There's actually a problem in the, uh, where it will load the chunks. It actually, uh, loads the chunks wrong, so then there's a small chance that some things won't pop in, right? Or just small things like that. But it, it's all fixed now if you have that, uh, old version. I also changed some things on the README. There was some outdated things on the, still on the README there. I've, uh, gone through it. I've fixed most of it. Or, uh, what I've, I've fixed as much as I've... I'm aware, I'm aware of, so you can go and download that, or re-download it if you already have it. And so basically what I did is, the Berry Engine is pretty slow at doing, well, anything. So what I did is I made a program that would go out and it would pre-render all of the possible movements and everything, turning and coordinates, all all the stuff. And it would go through an entire map, and it would just type out the data that it needs. Like, see, this all I have is a little type command here. And what that results in is a very fast rendering. Since everything is pre-rendered, everything is extremely fast and extremely fluid, or fluent, but... The only downside to this is why it, it, there's actually two downsides to this. For every single moving object you have, you can only move in a set number of ways that you can pre-render. Because you can't pre-render. Uh, that'd be too much for the computer to handle. Because even just doing this static 12 by 12 map it all took about uh, 10 minutes, 10 to 8 minutes for me to render all this, all these possible combinations. And that's um, that's not too bad if you consider how modern day games are made, but it's still more than more time than I'd like to spend uh, just letting my computer sit and just think about how it's gonna build this game up. But uh, yeah, if you have moving objects for every single moving object, you need to have a separate render for every single place it's going to move, which obviously increases the file size, because this thing is like, yeah, it's around, yeah, 182 kilobytes. That is, uh, that's too much for just a small game like that. Because if I go to the other files, uh, let's see here. Uh, anyways, the, uh, well, the, yeah, other files here, this is what I all use to, uh, render it all. So if I just take this and just say, in general, this is what it would be. Yeah, it'd be roughly around 37 kilobytes. So it's a lot smaller than something like this would be. But the only downside is, it would take around 2 seconds, like this, and you go like that. And etc, etc, goes slow. But I can quickly accelerate through the map a lot quicker now and yeah if yeah, I, it's pretty straightforward to uh, do this I don't think I need a little download for this but definitely go download the new version of the Barry engine because that has been fixed um, and for the pre-render here I just copied uh, some data yeah, I just copied the draw screen from the Barry engine and just set it to put it in the bin with a title, like X coordinate, Y coordinate, etc. Or I, I I think. Yeah, so like around Yeah, so X coordinate, Y coordinate, turning, dot whatever. It doesn't even matter because you're just using a type command to type it out. But yeah. I just thought I'd show everybody on YouTube, whoever even watches this, that uh, 
You can make a fast rendering game, but of course it has some drawbacks. And yeah, that's pretty much it.